Hi, I'm John Huesenstam, or Huesenstam, and uh, I'm taking a look at uh, Taylor NS, that's nylon string, 74 model number, CE, cutaway electric. And uh, Taylor didn't always make nylon string guitars. They weren't known for this uh, originally. They made steel string guitars. But uh, Bob Taylor took his uh, grand auditorium model. That's his body uh, shape, which is a little sleeker than what we call a dreadnought or a standard steel string guitar. A little more comfortable to hold and less bass. It doesn't uh, boom out with a lot of bass. And you get a really nice balanced sound uh, 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 with the dimensions of the, the body that he chose for this nylon string guitar. I'm coming to you today with the fact that uh, I don't know this instrument very well. I'm, I don't own one. I, I borrowed this guitar from the guitar shop in Laguna Beach. You can see that the price tag is still on there. We'll get into that later, the price. But uh, I will describe it to you and give you my honest opinion of, of what I think of this. And so far, I mean, to me, it's really easy to play. It's not like uh, your traditional nylon string guitar that has a great big, you know, bowdy neck. Uh, and there's nothing wrong with that as far as sound is concerned, because originally the all acoustic, you know, nylon string guitar needed as much uh, uh, sound uh, production as possible, so that big neck gave it a lot of uh, resonance. So uh, this guitar, unlike a, a regular nylon string guitar, has dots, you know, along the fretboard that, you know, for location. Uh, I can see that this is mahogany neck. You know, mahogany's always been known as a good. Uh, you know, wood for guitars and instruments, good tone wood. Uh, it's got beautiful uh, machine heads. Uh, they look like, uh, you know, Schaller could have made those. I, I don't know, I didn't do uh, all my research, but uh, very beautifully, uh, you know, decorative, well-made uh, machine heads. Uh, looks like they have uh, Indian rosewood, uh, you know, face plate on this headstock, uh, Taylor logo. Uh, uh, this looks like, to me, it would be a uh, one and seven eighths uh, width, which is narrower than your classical guitar. Normally, it's a two inches up here. This is only a one and seven eighths. And you know, for a guy like myself who's used to playing electric guitars and uh, steel string guitars, it feels real comfortable. I don't feel like you know held back by the uh, dimensions of it. Anyway, I'm just, you know, messing around with scales. Uh, really, if I uh, walk into a guitar shop and I pick up a guitar like this, you know, I, I don't sit there and perform. I, I, I try things out, you know, I, I try to feel uh, how the guitar resonates, you know, the sound uh, that it produces. Uh, this is a cedar top. Um, usually, you can tell the difference between cedar and spruce, or Engelmann, which is a German spruce, which is very white. Regular uh, cedar is a little, uh, excuse me, regular spruce is a, a little yellow, yellowy, uh, depending on the varnish, of course, but uh, cedar is always pinkish or red like this. Maybe you could even say it's orange, but uh, that's a cedar top. Here's an ebony, uh, ebony uh, bridge, and the uh, saddle and the nut are made out of, uh, I think, uh, tusk or T-U-S uh, Q, which is, uh, you know, like polymer, plastic uh, replacement uh, material for bone or ivory. Uh, you know, we don't want to have to uh, slaughter animals just so we can play music, but uh, anyway, it probably will last longer and sounds just as good, if not better, than uh, you know, those sort of organic uh, materials. Uh, hopefully I'm, I'm correct in that, but uh, this is uh, a rosewood uh, back and sides. Not uh, Brazilian, but uh, 
probably Indian rosewood. I could be wrong, but that's what it looks like to me. And it has a nice uh, pinstriping binding with a, a, a wood you know, uh, binding around it with the pinstripes. Uh, sometimes the binding would be, uh, you know, white or, you know, some sort of plastic white, but this is a wood binding just to strengthen these edges. And uh, it's an ebony fretboard. You know, ebony usually thought of as being a bright tonal wood, you know, bright reproduction. You'll notice that this guitar has a, a, a you know, a pickup system in it. And... Uh, a long time ago, Ovation may, may have been the first company that really tried to research how to get, uh, you know, a good uh, amplified nylon string guitar sound. Uh, Kirk Sand at the guitar shop certainly uh, is known for that. And Bob Taylor has got his own uh, piezo uh, pickup uh, system in here. And I'll just turn the volume up a little bit so you can hear that. Up until now, I have been playing it totally acoustically without any kind of amplification. But here's a little bit of amplification. that just sounds like, you know, really a good reproduction of what this guitar is all about. instrument. Uh, I mean, he did a wonderful job on these, and I'm sure uh, there's some other models that are similar to this, and I just want to congratulate Bob Taylor on a very nice instrument, uh, acoustic nylon string guitar with an electric uh, pickup system. Thank you. The cost? <laughs> well, they retail for about uh, $3,700, and uh, I noticed online, and this one's been marked down to $27, or $27.49, so, you know, between two and 3000 more leaning towards the 3000 for a new one, of course, with a full warranty.